Okay, so hello there. For anybody that doesn't know me, let me introduce myself. I'm Little Miss House Cat. Today's video is going to be an unboxing. So I originally saw these shoes like over two months ago and I became like obsessed. It's almost the same way that I feel about my Balenciaga Triple S's where like I love them but they're so ugly that they're cute. It made me like want them even more that they were that ugly. It's such a fuck you shoe because like it's ugly. It's ugly but it's cute and I don't know. So I'm excited to see if in real life I actually still feel the same way. Yeah, we'll see. This is all going to be kind of new to me as well in terms of what these shoes look like. Oftentimes I think when we see unboxings people have seen the item in real life but they're not on the website. I haven't seen anybody post about them other than the Instagram accounts that I follow that are like involved in Louis Vuitton that kind of post the drops before they hop in and the sneak preview. I haven't really actually seen them on anybody other than stock photos like leak photos. I don't have like an actual SA or CA because I feel like their customer service sucks at Louis Vuitton. I'm not trying to like talk shit but I have not had Good experiences at my local one which is South Coast Plaza any other place I would say at South Coast is like top-notch five-star treatment Cartier great treatment Balenciaga incredible Gucci is number one in terms of customer service and obviously Chanel for Louis Vuitton it's always hit or miss I tend to buy things online just because I feel like Louis Vuitton is either really great with their customer service or like really crappy. So overall, most of my purchases are done abroad. So I reached out to Pavlina on Instagram. She works at the Rodeo Beverly Hills. Uh, this is my first time purchasing from her. So I was like, okay, let me by chance just ask her if she has these shoes. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube or Instagram posts that they've received them or purchased them or that they're even out. I know that they were supposed to be out either this month or next month, but wasn't 100% sure on the release and they're not available on the website. So I was kind of like, uh, like, should I just ask? And she was like, um, I literally have them. I'm very excited to not only just see the shoe, but also see the sizing, which is what I'm also going to be sharing with you guys. So these shoes I actually got in two sizes. I typically across the board am a 37. So I'm a size seven, basically in all shoes. And Chanel, I'm a 37. And Hermes, I'm a 37. And Gucci, well, Gucci can depend, 37 or 36 and a half. In Louis Vuitton, in the front row sneakers, I'm a 36 and a half because they do run um, a little bit large. Arch light sneakers, I'm a 37 those fit fine so pavlina told me that she also is a 37 but the 36 fit just fine and that i probably could do either or because i guess of the fuzz had a little bit of give so the actual shoe arrived i believe either yesterday or the day before yesterday it was like next day shipping via ups from the rodeo louis vuitton no joke i understand we're mid-covid but i've received packages from chanel and from Louis Vuitton online that require a signature. And this one says signature required, but UPS did not knock and I've been home because although the shelter in place has been lifted in Southern California and in California as a whole, I have been sheltering in place and have not just been like out willy nilly like doing stuff. Like I would have rather have seen these shoes in person, made my decision, purchased them there. But to prevent too much exposure when not needed outside of like my essential stuff, I decided to just order them online. They left the box at my door and like left. I was pretty upset about it because I have two pairs of shoes in there that after taxes total $4,200. So I was kind of like, ooh, like that's kind of fucked up. Like who does that? Oh, once again, not a Louis Vuitton issue, but a UPS issue. So UPS, you need to do better, at least knock. It says signature required, and I understand the COVID no contact stuff, but FedEx will not set the package down and from afar ask me what my last name is and first name is, so basically sign for me but they interact with you. I understand, I'm not expecting a fucking French kiss from the guy. Just like knock on my door, like that would have been respectful. So these shoes are not gonna be for everybody, but I'm super excited. I feel like this is the kind of shoe that you would wear with like sweats or like torn up jeans, shorts, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so let's open this. I hope we love it. I like that I said we, like this is a team effort. I hope we love it. I hope I love it. If not, then they're both going back. Oh. 
Okay. So this is what we have. I'm gonna take out the packing. Like I said, there's two boxes, two shoe boxes sitting here like this. This is one. And then this is the other. And then at the bottom is the shopping bag. I don't know what size is in whatever box. It looks like the dimensions are a little bit different, but I don't actually think that means anything because the shoes are similar in size. I'm just going to slide the ribbon off. Okay. We're doing the pull out. Oh my God, the box snagged my shirt. Ugh, that's so annoying. I don't know if you guys can tell. I literally cannot believe the box just snagged my shirt. That is so annoying. Okay, anyways, so these are the shoes. Oh my God, they're so cute in real life. So these are the shoes in real life. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're so cute. And on the bottom, they have Louis Vuitton. And on the soles, let's see what size this is, I'm curious. Oh, here it is. This is a 36 and a half. She's right, this actually does look big. Oh yeah, the 36 and a half is the size. Actually, I don't even know if I wanna open the 37, to be honest, to even look at it, because this is the 36 and a half, and I feel like the 37 is going to be too big. Do you like how like I'm literally showing you my shoes like this on my foot? Oh, by the way, these pants are not actually Louis Vuitton. I actually got them off Etsy. This person makes them and they're super cute and comfy. They're just loungy sweats that have like the bleach stains and the Louis Vuitton. I've linked those for you guys if you guys are interested. They're like cute, comfy lounge pants. But these are actually really cute. I like really like these. Like I'm actually really excited about them and I actually think that I could really wear them. The fur itself is actually mink. I know. I know, I feel, I feel like such a hypocrite and awful because I'm such an animal lover and then I still buy leather goods for shoes. Like this is disgusting. I wish they were not mink. I know people are gonna come for me for this, but I mean, I am me, you are you. I'm sorry, mink, but these are so cute. My concern is when they get dirty, I guess I have to take them to like a fur restore cleaner because I'm worried about the shoe bed getting dirty, but we'll see. So let me show you what they look like. Oh my God. They're so cute. So the 36 and a half is definitely perfect. I'll measure the outside and then I'll measure where like the toe and foot area is already kind of like marked. Can you see the curvature of where they intend your foot to actually go? I'll measure where that is and then I'll measure the entire length of the shoe and then I'll measure my foot for reference so that you guys can understand like toe to heel so that you guys can get a better idea, just in case you guys have similar feet or whatever, but here we go. Also, by the way, these are not incredibly heavy. These are called the Bohm Dia. There's like no receipt in here, by the way, is it in the bag? I find that really odd. I got a digital receipt on my phone, but an actual hard copy receipt, which always comes in the box, it didn't come with it. If it came in there, maybe they put my receipt in this one. I'm gonna slide off the ribbon and then hope that it doesn't snag my shirt. Oh, here's the receipt. Okay, it was in this one. And these are the 37? Yeah, these are the 37. I might as well try them on. Oh, you know what? The shoe difference isn't that big. 
it's only a slight difference to be honest with you between the two i i do believe that i'm gonna end up keeping the 36 and a half yeah the 36 and a half fits better but the 37 is um definitely bigger and chunkier and there's more um width up here okay so here's the receipt client copy so each one of these so this shoe retails for $1,990. I paid total tax for both $308, so it would have been like $154 per shoe. So the total for the two is $42.88, so divide it in half, it would have been $21.44 and $0.23. Cents. And I live in Orange County. These are coming from LA. These are the traditional Bom Dia um flat mule so essentially it's like the birkenstock looking style but with fur they have like the men's one that's called something else that has like fur in it too and it's like rainbow and all that stuff but this is the women's obviously and the color on this one's called grease like gray g-r-i-s and then they also have like the traditional brown like more louis vuitton looking brown with the monogram, I am brown, so I felt like it might lend all together with me, and I'm kind of having a hard time with that concept of it being like all just one, just melding together. It kind of just, mm, I didn't think it seemed that like interesting. And also I wear a lot of grays and blacks and whites and nudes, so I thought this might be a nice contrast against like a nude, or it would be fine with like black and white or denim. The inside of the shoe right here is leather, so it's pretty comfy and it doesn't seem like it'll actually rub your feet. The shoe bed is full mink. The only thing that isn't mink is where it says Louis Vuitton right there in black leather with silver letters that says Louis Vuitton Paris. And then on the bottom of the shoe, it just says Louis Vuitton made in Italy and it has like this do you see that it has it so it's like anti-slip so that's nice i appreciate that i hate when a lot of sandals are like really smooth and then you get on like a weird carpet and you do like the oh, like like you're gonna fall so i do like that i think that was a nice touch okay guys so i took some videos of the shoes in better lighting so that you could see the actual details on the fur a little bit clearer I realized that as I was speaking to you guys on camera, the shoes were kind of far away from the camera, so you weren't really truly able to see the details on the shoe. I wasn't exactly sure where to put this footage, so I just decided to dump it right here. So let me know if you guys like them or don't like them. I mean, I guess I don't really care if you guys like them, but I hope that you guys like them because I think they're fun. But if not like i totally get it these are pretty ugly and awesome at the same time um not for everybody but definitely for me so i have a bunch of other unboxings that i haven't done just yet but will be doing so please stay tuned also feel free to follow me on instagram i'm at little miss house cat so if you're interested in seeing more videos like this please hit the subscribe button below and if you want to be notified every single time that i put up a video hit the bell and you will know thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys again